Welcome back. In today's episode, we have a problem. And the problem is we have two charges, charge A and charge B. One is plus 4Q, another one is plus, one is plus Q and the other one is plus 4Q. And we need to calculate a point where the electric field is zero. Okay. A point in space where the electric field is zero. So let's try and get an intuition behind this. Why would the electric field or how, how is it possible that an electric field could be zero at any point because we have two charges. Both the charges are going to create an electric field. If you remember what the definition of electric field is, it's just a force on a coulomb. And since there are two charges at any point, if you, if I place a coulomb, there will be two forces. And remember, since forces are vector quantities, the two vectors can cancel out. So the, so the big idea is where in, in this universe should I keep a coulomb? where the force would be zero. That's the real meaning of this question. So let's, let's demystify this question. Let's say, where would a coulomb, a plus one coulomb, actually for that matter, any charge would do. But anyways, our one coulomb is a standard. Where would a coulomb experience no force, experience zero force? Well, the coulomb is going to experience two forces, force due to charge A and force due to charge B. B. And if you have worked with vectors before, actually you don't have to know that. Uh, anyways, uh, you know that two vectors can only cancel out provided they have the same magnitude, but more importantly, they should be in the opposite directions. And that helps us narrow down where that point could be. I mean, for example, that point couldn't be somewhere over here. I could guarantee that point P is not a point where the electric field is zero. And you could ask me why. Well, the answer is quite simple. Because the electric field due to charge A at that point, so if I were to calculate the electric field at point B due to charge A, then that electric field would be in this direction. It would be away from A. And I'm going to call that as EA. And the reason it would be away is just imagine putting a coulomb there. A coulomb would get repelled. I mean, don't, don't worry about this charge for now. Just worry about this charge. Okay, we solved some problems in superposition theorem last time, right? We're doing the same thing. So if you put a coulomb at this point, it's going to experience a force away and that, that would be electric field EA due to charge A. And similarly, due to charge B, the electric field is going to be at that point. Again, I have to put a, uh, okay, so it's going to be in along this is a line joining and it's going to be away again because it is it is a positive charge, okay? A coulomb would experience a force. And notice that they can't cancel out because the two fields are not, not equal in, I don't know whether they're equal in magnitude, it's hard to tell, but definitely they're not in the opposite direction, so they can't cancel out. So can you have an electric field zero here? No, you can't. Where could the electric field be zero? It can only be zero on the axis. So let's use some different color, let's use blue. It's only possible on the axis and when I mean axis I actually mean this this line over here and you can just check why it's only on the axis the two forces will either be parallel to each other or anti parallel to each other let's pick a point over here and see what's going to happen let's call it point as point s well notice that a is going to put an electric field at that point in this direction that is EA can you see that again if you want to understand why the electric field is that way Put a plus one coulomb and you'll understand it will repel. All right, but what about the electric field due to point B? Well, this is also a positive charge. So electric field due to point B is also going to be in the same direction. So we have the two vectors in the same direction. And that's not good because we want the electric field to cancel out. So that's not happening. So at point S, electric field won't be zero. Okay. In fact, this tells us anywhere towards the right, electric field won't be zero. You can use the same argument and you will see anywhere towards the left of A, electric field won't be zero. And that leaves us with just one possibility. It has to be somewhere between A and B. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could have smelled that. Okay. Let's go between A and B and check what's going to happen. So let's choose a point over here, any, any random point. And notice that charge A is going to create an electric field this way. By now, you should be able to understand why the electric field is that way. It's away from a positive charge. A coulomb would experience a force away. And the electric field due to charge B 
is at that point at, at this point let's, uh, let's call that point as point x and at that point would be in this direction i hope you're not getting confused with a lot of arrow marks over here but it would be this direction and bingo that's what we want we want the two fields to cancel out now i don't know exactly where x should be because we have to make sure now that the magnitudes also have to be equal to each other otherwise the two fields wouldn't cancel out but you can now notice that they're in the opposite direction so there's a good chance that yeah, i'm able i'm going to be finding out a point here where the electric field is zero so let's redraw that because this has become extremely messy so let's go down over here and let's redraw what we have we had charge a written in red so this is a this is plus q and we had at a distance of a small a uh, at a distance of a we had charge plus 4q okay let's just check that that was given yeah that's what was given okay all right so i know now somewhere in between the electric field is going to be zero but where would it be that's my question so here is the axis and i know somewhere over here electric field is going to be zero so let's just say at this point that is the point x okay now let me not call it as x let me call it as um Oh, T okay so let's assume assume electric field at T is 0 and I want to know where T is I don't know where T is so let's just say that the distance between charge A and point T let's just call that distance as X or yeah let's just call it as X and then this distance would be A minus X now we already know, we already saw that the electric field due to charge A is going to be away from A and it's going to be in this direction. This is EA. And similarly, electric field due to charge B is going to be in this direction. And that is electric field due to charge B. And if ET has to be zero, that the electric total net electric field has to be zero, then EA should be the same as EB in magnitude. Look, we're looking, we are, we are doing this in one dimension. And usually in one dimension, I don't I like to put arrow marks and everything. I'm just going to take care of everything by using minus signs or over here. It's pretty simple. The two must have the same magnitude. So let's equate the magnitudes. What's going to be EA? Well, we know the formula. We derived that last time. That's going to be, let's write that one over here. That's going to be K times Q. That's, that's electric field to A. Q divided by so there's no second q that's one coulomb remember that divide by the distance square that's x squared and that should be equal to electric field to charge b that's going to be k 4q divided by that distance square that's a minus x the whole square so let's cancel certain things off we get cancel k we can cancel q and so this would give us 1 over x squared equals 4 divided by a minus x the whole square now don't expand don't expand this instead take the square root if you take square root on both sides you get 1 over x is 2 over a minus x okay uh, 2 over a minus x and now we can simplify this a minus x equals 2x or uh, a equal to 3x and this gives us that x is equal to a divided by 3 so there we have it. Ta -da. So we need to go at a distance of A by 3 from charge A and that's where electric field would be 0. That means if I had kept a coulomb at that point, point T, the coulomb would experience absolutely no force whatsoever. And notice that this is closer to charge A. It's closer to A. And I hope that makes a lot of sense to you because charge A is a weaker charge. So in order for the electric fields to cancel out, you need to be closer to the weaker charge. In fact, that's going to be the rule in general, okay? Electric field will always be, so let me just write that down over here as a note, uh, something that, something's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a takeaway from that problem, and then from this problem. And the note is going to be that electric field will always be zero, is, oh, sorry, uh, mm, if electric field is zero, zero electric field, uh, it's going to call it zero electric field point, zero E field point. If there is any, 
it doesn't have to have all the time but if there is any then the zero electric field point would always be closer to would always be closer to the smaller charge okay to the smaller charge remember this so we have solved our problem see you next time